Gaze Chat, enhancing virtual conferences with Gaze Aware 3D photos. Communication software such as Clubhouse and Zoom has evolved to be an integral part of many people's daily lives. However, due to concerns such as bandwidth, oh my God, you're frozen again. Cameras in video conferencing are often turned off by participants. This leads to a situation in which people can only see each other's profile images, which is essentially an audio-only experience. So Even when switched on, video feeds do not provide accurate gaze. Participants cannot infer who is talking to whom from the webcam videos. Current online conferencing platform display static profile images to increase engagement when the video is off, which is not vivid. Prior arts such as Gaze2, MM Space, and Telehuman leverage complex setups such as multiple cameras, eye trackers, and multiple screens to obtain and represent users' relative gaze direction, which is hard to access and lacks the natural rendering of the redirected gaze. We present Gaze Chat a remote communication system that uses a single webcam to track whom the participant is looking and visually represent users as gaze-aware 3D profile photos. This satisfies users' needs to turn off the camera while keeping online conversations engaging and efficient. We render the dynamic profile by first inferring the depth of each provided profile picture and using it to generate a 3D photo. To render natural redirected gaze, we replace the 3D photo's eye region with gaze images synthesized using the neural rendering method, where the participants appear to be gazing in various directions. During rendering, we actively curate the real-time gaze point, compute the corresponding gaze angle, and then display the nearest synthesized gaze in the rendering. We further design two variants in gaze chat's eye contact rendering third person and eye contact perspective. In the design of third person perspective, gaze chat treats all gaze information the same so that the final presented gaze angle is calculated according to the source viewer placement and destination viewer placement. Regarding eye contact rendering, more user gaze at the viewer, gaze chat will render this user's profile as looking straight ahead Thus, the viewer feels as though this user is looking into his or her eyes. We have conducted a remote user study to evaluate gaze chat in three conditions. Standard video conferencing, gaze chat with two variants, and audio conferencing with static profile. Based on the user study, we conclude that gaze chat maintains the feeling of presence while preserving more privacy and requiring lower bandwidth than video conferencing. Gaze Aware 3D Photo provides a greater level of engagement, helps people understand the structure of their conversation better, and provides notably more eye contact experience than audio and video. As an initial effort to use Gaze Aware 3D Photos for virtual conferences, we believe our open source work may inspire more designs that convey nonverbal cues for remote conversations. Such features may eventually be integrated with video conferencing software to increase social engagement and improve conversational experience. Thank you.